Hey guys, welcome again to yet another exciting episode of Tell Me Salon Baby Can't You Live from Sarah Mental Discoveries on YouTube. Today on the episode again, we're going to focus on we National Hills, them of Salon, and for today on the episode, we're going to focus particularly on Vibre. But before we start to we'll talk about Vibre and tell you who are like Vibre, and of course, bring to you the opinion of Sierra Leone and them on the state, we got a very special guest today, winner. The executive producer, Dr. Isatuka Kijan. Doctor, welcome to the show. So, Doctor, why you decide to call in this bowl and tell me something? Well, this, first of all, viewers, um, hello everyone. I hope seeing you all is doing well. Uh, as Salima to we host for Tell Me Salon on scene, and the executive producer and co producer um, come about from the CEO. Founder for Sarah Network, we in uh, AAA. Um, we, we talk about um, things and what we do for really educate Sierra Leoneans them, and then we talk about Tell Me Salon and we try to see who that like best fit. You know, I'm sure we all agree with me. Say Salima Tukake has been the best <laughs> for you. most the program. Uh, so the Tell Me Salon basically we focus on a lot of talk about the culture, the history in Sierra Leone, and we we do we ask we ask about the basics then as the country. We ask about we now we some of the national heroes then we don't see some of the things then we uh, we don't we highlight we some of them then not or because they didn't do it at all the time you know just. Listening to tell me some of them few questions on the within the independence, within a would have the current president, you know, that the mayor of Freetown. People that know, some that don't know, and it's funny, it's interesting. It's like they learn at the same time, they get fun along with it. So that's why we feel say if you want to somebody learn, you know, make sure you bring humor into that journey. So far, Doctor, tell me Salon not the meeting expectations in terms of the response from Sierra Leoneans in terms of the acceptance and everything. Tell me Salon not the meeting expectations. Absolutely, I want to say tell me Salon currently in the Discovery Channel, now uh, one of the top five programs then. And tell me Salon can always take number one, especially when you upload them along with other videos them. So Sierra Leoneans they really they appreciate this, you know, both home based and in the diaspora. And myself when I the producer and the executive producer, some things and they even if I didn't know about salon, but just listening to tell me salon, it expand the knowledge a little bit more. So I believe so we don't need meet the expectation of Sierra Leoneans. And we self we try for for three Sierra Leone as a country we Rich in so many histories, um, and I believe see it's really that they can benefit from this, and that's something we will be and embrace and do more. Okay, so, Doctor, again, what is Sierra Leone they need for, for to in terms of Tell Me Salon? Because some people, along, they say, okay, Tell Me Salon is just comedy, but then you don't make a note to people say, it's not just comedy, it's educating people with you more alongside so most times like you tell me say while the person learns something being an up to a new level and uh, talk about Creole, talk about your language, talk about many other things and in fact uh, bring small fun into it. So what do people that need for expect from tell me salon in the future? Tell me salon get for continuing this way, they get for bring other things, what exactly should Sierra Leone expect? I think Sierra Leoneans are for expect see we they do a twist and turn with Tell Me Salon as we can start with just things that we every Sierra Leonean for know about your country. I think we don't ask the ordinary person on our street for expect them to let them know when we gain independence, when we become a, a, a Republican state. Those questions that we don't deal with in Tell Me Salon, right? What in the green, white, and blue, what it stand for? Then till the day, we as Sierra Leoneans then we all know that. And now we take a turn to be national heroes that we don't get the first one with Kaimi. And I'm sure you know we continue with that trend and see how many of the national heroes then we will target. And we hope say we will also target some 
female, then we don't make impact in our country as a whole. So we get more in store. And the film say again, what we want for you, you know, even we can take this to the secondary school level, then we begin to ask questions them, just to see if we really meet the educational curriculum expectation for students them for that they answer some few questions them, you know, where they don't take the care, where they don't take class, and we can move on that way. And this is not something we maybe picking up there the opportunity for telling mama say, you know, now this and learn about Bible or now this and I learn about Shane Pier, we now we heroes them. But like just hearing it on TV, on the social media, it help that mommy will not be in good school, that papa will not be in good school, that granny will not be in good school. For know a little bit more about them, the heroes they are so now we put. Especially when we do the program in Creole because most programs them about salon and for tell people like, the history of salon game, English and other things. But if we do this program in Creole, like you always say, doctor, we do this for we young people like members of the we say, we know they do this for the outsiders. Yes, we want to tell them what in our salon and tell them about salon, but we do have a game for educate say and unions them. We now want by your goals them and your dreams for educating more people in our salon. So thank you very much, Doctor, for waiting to come on the show so we can go back to the national hero for this week. Yeah, so we now by the way we the whole of the streets of Freetown for your you waiting see and bring us them get for say about my Hello, sir. Wait, my name? And my name is Sanjekia. Okay. So, the very first question say, who are you? Bible? Bible? Bible is a fighter. Well done. Okay, so, what's in Bible is Bible popular for? Who's fat? Bible is popular for the particular fat we're popular for. Particular fat? The crime they lost the whole of its money and they go for her. Yeah, right. the first make him be, him be popular. Because in the loss, and the cow will wait for her. You say? And the cow will wait for her. Go for her. <laughs> Wonder shall never end. When that happened, you can approximate in the 80s, in the 18th century, 19th century? From the 18th now, from the 19th. <laughs> and then, see if it happened. See the whole And then, and then, and back die. Where the whole are? Where the whole are? Back there and kill her. The white man and kill her? Yeah. Now the result is this. So, currently, who's money? Who's one power with salon money there by and face paper? Uh, 1,000. Well done. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, my good afternoon. What's your name? Georgiana Johnson. Okay, Miss Georgiana. So, you can tell me a bit about Bible. What do you know about Bible? I'm. To me understanding, they say Bible and I be one of the slaves that will be come out from in um where be sell. <laughs> so where be come back, where be fetch for Africans. Eh, and be count the slaves that will be sell her out, we then call them back in a saloon. So now then they are not. Okay, so you know anything where Bible popular for, like one particular something where you do way popular for? No. Now the result is. So who's one for we money there right now by way and face paper? One thousand. Well done. Okay, thank you very much, Miss. Hello, my good afternoon. What's your name? Zainab Safa. Zainab Safa. Tell me what you know about Bible. Well, I just know say Bible now be a warrior, a chief warrior, na Kase village, and. It also conquer so many villages and defeat so many leaders them. We make it become great. Even give himself a nickname. Um, yeah, Kebalai, one who does not get tired of war. And the man was great. Imagine a whole man. He stand against the breaches, say, no, I cannot pay for my own house. 
So people are misleading the thing, call it a hot tax war, and the actual sense is house tax war, because people are paying for their own houses in Freetown, not only Freetown, the provinces also. Well done. So tell me, waiting at the legacy about Bible, waiting Sierra Leone has the need for take about Bible, and why make Sierra Leone has the need for no more about Bible? Well, for me personally, I believe say Bible is a great person. Just imagine, he gets strong personality. Pussy will not uh, give up easily. It it, it move uh, like it move strong against what he believe. Say yes, now nah, this me believe and nah, this for stand. So I think say Sierra Leone and for and for implement that one great thing, a strong personality from Bible. And I believe say it is very important for the Bible and people and know about Bible because. Me believe say na a man we fight with the breaches, the almighty breaches where people and up till now some man they fear for even where he talk for talk back. So I believe say it's just great on your own. Correct. Thank you very much, me. So that's one, one small one. So who's one power we money then by where they Well, okay, Kailun the two thousand. Um, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want no one. Okay, so 1,000 or 2,000? 1,000. Okay, so name two other things then where we name after Bible and us alone. Um, what name after Bible? Wait, sorry, Union's name, name after, after Bible. 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 Yeah. Wow. Oh, Bure Beach. Okay. And then, um, I can go with the money. Okay. The 1,000. <laughs> ah, you're clever. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my good afternoon. What's your name? I'm in name Kade. Okay, Kade. So you can tell me what you know about Bible, eh? Bible, eh? Yes. No, actually, I don't understand about that. You don't know any Bible, eh? Mm -hmm. Ha! You know what are they for 1,000 leons? Yeah. What are they for 1,000 leons? Bible, eh? Okay, so tell me something about Bible, eh? What do you know about Bible, eh? But we're in India for 1,000. Yeah, and? Yeah, I don't understand that. You know Sabi Bible, you know not, Sabi nothing about Bible, eh? Uh, ah, ah. <laughs> Look at results. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Welcome back, viewers. We know you're waiting for your union to get for say about Bible. Now, these tell me something gets for say about Bible. Bible have been born in 1840 in Akase, in the northern part of Salon. So, a Limba chief. And a team named Mama when I be a trader. Bible in the youth, being going at Bendebu, also in the northern part of Salon, forgotten as a warrior. Yada, Bible has become a very famous warrior because he become be very powerful and successful. So to the people about that place, they call him Kebalia or Kebalai. And Kebalai or Kebalia means somebody when not tire of war or somebody when in baskets only ever full of. Bible, because of its success, when it came back to Kase, the people in Kana as chief of Kase. So in 1896, when the British people declare a protectorate over the provinces of Salon, then we also institute a hot tax. Bible and our one party leader, they will be strongly there against the hot tax war. And they will be strongly revolt against this tax. Yeah, so. This tax, yes, yeah, so the British at the time they use them for develop the, the protectorate and the colony as well and these are for build roads and also invest into other projects there. People then or citizens them at the time they pay this tax with money or stock or through their labor. So but most people not the protectorate at the time being they pay with labor because obviously for whom are not be able to afford the money at the time. So I we have been very four years and say no me are not pay this. So because of that the, there was this tension between Bible and the British colonial government at the time. And the governor at the time, they offer 100 pounds to anybody who will be able to lead to Bible in Paris, where we will for give information, where we will lead to Bible in Paris. Finally, Bible may also offer 500 pounds to anybody who will give information, where we will lead to the capture of the governor general at the time. This will be one part, the highlights of the war. But in November of the same year, 1898, 
by more we get for surrender to the beaches because you'll not be able to keep up again and there was some encounters with the beaches colonial government. In all this, we see for say it is not about the winning of the war. It's about by way we not be just a warrior, we just land go in a warfare and just a fence in a little corner. Begin for we stand or for continue a war for that long with the beaches. These were people where be the most of them. Military poets around the world, they don't fetch wars, they don't get so many encounters, they don't win battles. But by way, we for withstand. So by way, I heal because it withstand that pressure and it be able to continue. In as much as at the end of the day, it's not about who that win or who that lose. After we by way, they surrender. The beach has been sent by way into exile in the Gold Coast, when I call it the Ghana. And it be there for a few years. It came back in 1905, and the people of Kaseka, the United States, are past their chief. My brother died peacefully in 1908. Currently, Sierra Leoneans remember my brother as one of the greatest leaders or national heroes we Salon don't ever get. In face, they currently own 1,000 gold paper bills. Also, we have a football team that we Salon Premier League that is named in honor of my brother. Vibre was a great leader, and Sierra Leoneans they still remember him in every way. We get Vibre regalias, we get Vibre t-shirts, we get a lot of things that are named after Vibre. Proudly, I did not Vibre Hall at Full Bay College. So this is how much Sierra Leoneans remember and honor Vibre because of a contribution towards the development of South. So doctor, this is not the very first time for me in studios when tell me salon it happened. So with all of this, with all what we don't tell viewers then at the start, the aim and everything of tell me salon, also how you may see tell me salon in the next one, two years. Thank you very much, Salima to Kake, for giving me some insight. We can to tell me salon for long we understand who are not the library now in Sierra Leone history as a whole. Um, I believe say this man is a step in the right direction. We know say Sierra Leoneans then we really listen to tell me salon we will continue to appreciate the work when we do what we present to the people in the country. And we don't say with that, it will give you more zeal for long we explore or long we discover because we focus really now for discover new things about the country and we learn and discover histories them about Sierra Leone. We get to deal with um, different things and now we deal with the national heroes them. And I'm sure we get for shift this. And I look to you question within the next two to you know, five years, we really want to see Tell Me Salon as a, I would say, some kind of competition like, you know, on national TV, basically between them, you know, just ordinary Sierra Unions, them who come and then compete for the questions that we, they will ask, you know, about Sierra Leone. So then we will really take this at a different level that now one. And the other thing we are to look at maybe Love, think of another language where we will really feel safe, you not know, to just speak you know, no more. You know, maybe we can take an English language as well, so that what are people then will really know what is Salon is all about, what is Sierra Leone is all about. Sierra Leone not to just about the war when we don't get, not to just about that Ebola term we don't get, or the more like we want for portray the country. To me, that a country is also it's not a beautiful country. Uh, we love Mama Salon, and we really want to portray them in a good way of the people that we don't make significant impact on the country and highlight, showcase them. You know, and we think I believe the team they do definitely not the right thing for them. So we hope for continuing Mama Salon. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor, for wasting your time out of your busy schedule for joining me as well today in the studios. What will be your last word to the viewers them out there? Well, um, I want to first commend my team. We did do Tell Me Salon. We still do the host, Mina Salima, too. Uh, we current um, camera operators, 
you know, we get Yaya Kago, we Nandi do most of it, and sometimes a lady can do, um, like somebody can fill in for her, we get Justice, E.M. Tijan, and we also get Sky, and we get we editor, we na ask Sky, and all the mini comedians that we want to say plenty thank you to them, and to everybody who they make Tell Me Salon happen. And we want to say plenty thank you to the viewers them. We want them we don't subscribe to Sarah Network Discoveries. And I'm sure you will not subscribe. You will not watch Tell Me Salon. But some of we discoveries them will attest say we did do a good job. And with that, if you forget, let's say maybe you don't remember, for say for subscribe, don't forget and for hit that red button there. Then you subscribe to the channel. And another thing we can do, hit the notification bell because with that you will always know when we upload new videos down when they come to you. And you know, and comment. Give me suggestions them, give me feedback. We really want to get the feedback. We want to know what I want, what I really want to see when you come to tell me something. We, because you know what we discover, we really want to discover things them with the viewers them to all civil unions them. And those are the things that I believe see we want to see. Because it's now we all we know. Now we all we want to and one for one together. And again, I want to say uh, we get a premiere, we come up, we na Sarah Net Sarah we na a production where we, we don't won the National Entertainment Award uh, 2018, uh, Sarah season one, and now we get season two with the premiere on the 15th day of January 2022. Don't forget to get the go for reasonable price, you want for the day, red carpet, you know, Salima to the day. day. You know, you go meet her live, live in person. Yes. Maybe that will be one of the people that will question you. Would he be wet? <laughs> you go on that, obviously. Yes. So thank you very much, Doctor. And Doctor, let's say most of it. Tell me salon na nothing without Una because we know we just come into studios and record things and discover things without Una out there. So plenty thank you to me, esteemed viewers. They are on the hit and down for me. You will on the like, you will on the share, you will on the comments. Bring on more suggestions with you and tell me that for me. Like we always open for listening to suggestions. And so now so we the in the cutting down for today on episode of Tell Me Salon. We don't catch you live from Sarah Network Discoveries on YouTube. Today in the studio, I've been getting me as a YouTube producer, Dr. Aita Tukaki Jalo. And I want to tell you to thank you to me, camera operator, Yaya Kago, Justice, and of course, me producers, even as much as in the studio, Dr. Aita Tukaki Jalo and Tipu A. And so, Una all of her again. Once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And also, not forget for dinner, the premiere of Sarah Talk Season 2 will happen on January 15th. That prestigious piece of City Council of Victoria, you want for the day. Tickets are currently be available. For small money, contact the numbers that will show on the screen. So, the next thing, me at Alimatica again. Bye bye. <laughs>